we're going to do a couple of science experiments. And the first one is milk art. And the fun thing about this is you can use ingredients that you have in your own kitchen. Now with every science experiment, you're going to need materials. And the first one is just a shallow bowl. Then you're gonna need some milk, any kind of milk will do. Then some food coloring, any color some dishwashing soap, and some Q-tips. Now pour the milk into the shallow container, and you don't need a lot of milk. Oops, I spilled a little. Just enough to cover the bottom. Now dab a little bit of the food coloring in different places all over the surface of the milk. Now while I'm doing this, let's make some predictions. What do you think will happen when I add dishwashing liquid to the food coloring? Oh no, oops, I bumped it. That's okay, I'm going to keep adding the different colors. Now on a plate, just add a little bit of the dishwashing soap and put a Q-tip in it and see what happened. That's pretty neat, huh? Why do you think this happens? It's like the food color is running away from the soap. It makes a really cool design. Okay, let's do some more. Hmm, it's not working the same. Notice how you have a different effect when there's already soap in it? All right, let's try this new batch over here. Isn't that cool? Makes a lot of cool designs and it bubbles up sort of like a little volcano. It kind of looks like a star supernova is exploding. Okay, let's try this one. That's pretty cool. And there you have it. That's some milk art. So this is a fun experiment to see how the colors will swirl together and how they kind of mix and make a cool design and that's why they call it milk art but you know it's not going to stay forever because you're going to eventually have to dump out your containers but in the meantime it's really fun to look at and then you can keep playing around and mixing it up to see the different designs you can make So when you made a prediction, did you predict that this would happen? The reason it happens is for the same reason that when you're washing dishes, it will clean the grease off your pans. Well, grease is fat and milk has fat in it and the food coloring floats on top of the fat. The fat is all connected with bonds. Think of it like the little pieces of fat all holding hands with each other. Dish soaps are used on greasy or oily dishes because it breaks the bonds in fats, allowing them to separate. And when you add the dish soap to the milk, the fat separates and moves, making your beautiful milk art. Now, of course, after you've played with it a while, the milk gets saturated with the dish soap, and so the colors begin to become more muddled. Well, that was fun. Give it a try. Our next experiment is making a lava lamp. The ingredients you'll need is water, some oil, food coloring, and some Alka-Seltzer, and a glass container. Fill the container a fourth of the way with water, and then add double the amount of oil into the jar. 
I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So we're just gonna go with the footage I have. Now watch how the food coloring just falls down to the bottom and it gets stuck in those bubbles there. But water is more dense than oil. So the oil is going to float on top and the food coloring eventually busts down into the bottom of the jar. But because water and oil don't mix, you can stir it up and it will separate again. Do you see how the food coloring is bursting down below into the water? That's because food coloring is made of water and water is heavier than oil. But they both are liquids. Let it sit until all the bubbles are gone and then add a tablet of Alka-Seltzer and watch what happens. The carbon dioxide from the Alka-Seltzer is fizzing up and floating to the top, creating these bubbles. Do you hear the fizzing sound? That's the Alka-Seltzer. It's made with baking soda. What's really cool is if you turn off the lights and put a flashlight on top. So there you have it, a lava lamp you can make at home. Thanks for watching, see you soon.